Today marks the beginning of Women's History Month, our annual month-long commemoration and celebration of the contributions women have made in the past, present, and will make tomorrow. So if you don't know, now you know. The celebration grew out of Women's History Day, which was established by historian Gerda Hedwig Lerner, and the National Women's History Alliance in 1978. That was an effort to supplement the lack of women's history being taught and discussed. Now, that's not to say that none of the history was being taught before then, but it was a little thin. Up until then, women were often left out of society's story, or they were acknowledged just enough by the storytellers to say, see, see, we gave y'all something. Now run along, ladies. Y'all know that feeling. The day was well received, of course, leading president and eternal good guy Jimmy Carter to declare the week of March 8th Women's History Week in 1980. The week became a month here in 1987, going global shortly after. And here we are 35 years later, still going strong with many more to come. Every year, the National Women's History Alliance assigns a theme to the month. This year's theme is women providing healing, promoting hope. Quoting the Alliance, it's a twofold tribute to the ceaseless work of caregivers and frontline workers during this ongoing pandemic, and also a recognition of the thousands of ways that women of all cultures have provided both healing and hope throughout history. Healing and hope, two things we've been blessed with recently from women in every field of life, from caregivers in hospitals to teachers in virtual and physical classrooms. From the inspiration of seeing the first female vice president to the inspiration of a black woman nominated to the Supreme Court, another first. We witnessed the ladies of the U.S. women's soccer team settle their equal pay lawsuit with the U.S. Soccer Federation, a win that women around the world can look at and say, yes, that is the fair treatment that we deserve. We've seen hope in the eyes of the brave women taking up arms to defend their homeland against invasion. And we've also seen it in the eyes of the brave women protesting their president, the leader of that invasion. Now, I could also stand here and describe to you all the ways that our society is still failing women, the losses that are outpacing the gains and trust. At some point, I will do that. But not today. Today is for gratitude. And to that, I want to say thank you, ladies, for all that you have done and will continue to do. And for knowledge, governmental agencies and museums across the area have activities planned all month. If you go to womenshistorymonth.gov, you'll find a listing. Go ahead, go ahead. What y'all waiting for? Go ahead and find that. Bye.